Welcome. So today we are looking at the Pioneer CTW205R. This is a 90s auto reverse twin tape. Uh, not particularly high spec one, but um, what have we got? Auto rewind and play. Deck 1 MS. Not sure what that is. Deck 2 MS. Glass. Dolby B and C. Your reverse modes, your fast forward, your full logic controls. This is a playback side, this is a record side only. Uh, sorry, this is record and playback, this is playback only. Power, eject, record level. Um, and that's about it. So, I said not a hugely high end tape deck, but see what the, oh, it's not, not too bad. Very, very dirty in there, but doesn't look too bad for wear. We're getting quite a cheap sounding. But, uh, but as I said, it's not a hugely high end deck. Um, so, as always, get the lid off, see what the belts and stuff are like before I power it up and, uh, and try it out. So, let's get the lid off. And we'll have a look. So let's have a look inside. Uh, nicely laid out board. Everything's labelled. Power area, your record control. Um, deck one, deck two. Playback amp. Input. So everything's all nicely labelled. Meter amp. But um, it's certainly not high end. Right, so the uh, right, so the belts. Perhaps, perhaps a little loose, but on the whole. Not too bad. Certainly better than I was expecting. Now, have we got any dates on this? No, I can't see any dates on the motors, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, some of those may be date codes on there, but I've no idea how to decipher them. Can't see any other dates. It's a shame. I always like to see when these things are manufactured. And I haven't checked the obvious place see if there's anything on the back. Adock and Sons Limited sold this wherever they are. Mm, oh, here we go. May 1996. So this is not that old really, what's that, 24 years old? So by my equipment this is extremely new. But, um, but yeah, everything looks in order. None of the caps look particularly swollen or leaky. So I think we'll give it a go. So 
note will go back to good old Alice, Mr. Cooper. So, plug it in. Power, oh, we have power, that's a good start. So, open this deck up. Those reels are spinning nicely. Oh, that didn't sound very... Mm, maybe I'm imagining things. I don't know how well it shows up, but you have your little things on here showing it's in reverse play, but it's currently fast forwarding. It's playing forwards now. You can see the view, view mute is working, so it's you know it's playing okay. Now I want to try rewind auto play. So this should now rewind it and then start playing when it gets to the back. And it does. All right. Just fast forward in a bit. Play. Just playing that side. Let's play on the other side. Cool, cool, cool. It's a very noisy deck, but uh, that's the head spinning backwards and forwards. So, with this side. That's struggling a bit on this side. But it is playing. Ah, so this is the music search. So this is, you may have heard me speak on a previous video about Marillion, um, which is playing in the other one, having quite a long gap between songs. And that's what this is. So if I do music search plus, if Alice Cooper has got a big enough gap between tracks, this should now stop at the next track and start playing that. Or it could fast forward all the way to the end of the tape because there's not enough big enough gap. Oh no, there we go. And there we are. So yeah, music search works. So it all seems to be working. So again, I think we are just looking at a clean up. And uh, let me see if 
see how stable it is. So, right. And what you see there, that the bias is out. Quite a bit, because this is a solid 3000 hertz tone. And you can see the left and right is quite a bit out. So the azimuth will need setting up on this. Yep, same the other way. Oh, and this is really low. And again, quite badly off and quite noisy. Very low on that deck, so this is the looks of it. Going to need a good setup, a good clean, and a good setup. So let's get on with it. Right now, we just uh, I just spent the last few minutes waffling away to the camera to turn around to find out the camera wasn't actually recording, but basically. What we've done on this side, I'll have to let it get through the bits. That's just telling us what it is. Then we'll have a bit telling us it's the 3K, and then we just wait for it. There we go. Right, so as you can see, the left and right isn't quite in sync so that would be the azimuth slightly off but uh, what I've done, oh actually the speeds so on a lot of motors, on a lot of them the speed control is on the motor and it looks like there might be one on the motor here but uh, on these you've also got a speed control for the left hand deck there and for the right hand deck there so, I'm just going to adjust that down a touch more. Two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine point five. That's pretty close. And we have a wow and flutter there of point one 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 point one two. So, stop that side. Open, open. And again, the azimuth is off. And we are again ever so slightly high. Again, pretty much bang on, 2,999. So, yeah. So, now on this deck... Going the other way, we're pretty much spot on there. But I'm not happy with that speed. It's a bit high, so I'm gonna find a it's uh also reverse deck like this. It's all about compromise. 
you're not going to get both sides working perfectly so it's about compromise so this running that way is ever so slightly high now running that side is ever so slightly slow but It's all about compromise. So that's about 10 hertz slow. And that's 14 hertz fast, 13 hertz fast. So I think that's about good a compromise as realistically we're going to get. And on this one, 5 hertz fast. So this one is running about the same both directions, give or take. There's only a couple of hertz in it. So yeah. So that's that's pretty much what you hope for. And if you're wondering why I'm physically having to turn the tape around when it's an auto reverse deck because I've only got the 3000 Hz tone on one side. So if I now do reverse, there's nothing there. Yeah, running pretty much bang on 3000. Pretty much spot on. Nine hertz high. Nine hertz, ten hertz below. So yeah, this deck isn't quite as consistent as this one, but um, but it's close enough. In reality, that minor variation in speed you're never going to notice. Importantly, the wow and flutter is 0.2 peak, 0.1 RMS, so that's, that's the important bit. So let's just rewind that. So now, let's move on to the um, the um, azimuth, and for that I need a bit of hear it. Before we get too carried away, let's uh, just do a bit of a recording here. just in the little intro bits so any second now we will get into the the tone and you can see if you've watched previous videos that that has been all over the place and this is quite a nice consistent tone that's because the wow and flutter on this is you know 0.1% on you know the national panasonic for example that was about one percent um on the 
the other Pioneer deck I've got, that was considerably higher than that. So if we now stop that, play it back, See, the hiss is not too bad there. Let it die down to normal. And see, that's a relatively consistent tone. That's not bad. Right. And as you can hear, what I'm doing is I'm listening for that tone to be as high pitched as possible. And at the moment I'm doing it on 3K. I will shortly do it on 10K, but uh, for now, I think it was pretty much set up okay. Oh, this side seems a bit dull. Right, so let's get round, have a look, and 3,000, uh, so we're on quite a way on. And what I'll do, because this is an auto reverse deck, um, I haven't got any at the moment, strangely enough, but I will either go and buy or borrow off a female friend some nail um, colour stuff nail paint, whatever you call it, and um, you can tell I haven't got doors or anything, can't you? And um, just put a touch of that on those um, screws just to try and stop them moving any more than necessary. But um, where are we? Four hundred hertz. Oh, I want a lot more than that. So here we go. This should be ten thousand hertz. Ten thousand hertz. There we go. So this is where we want us for this real high frequency. I don't know if you can hear that, but Put on there. 
that's about it there. Um, brilliant. Really happy with this, the way this one's gone. So, uh, yeah, not so happy with some of the other ones, but we'll, we'll get on to them. But, yeah, really happy with this one. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you when this is rewound and we're ready just to finish, finish off setting it up. So, last things last, we've set up um, the azimuth, we've set up the bias, we've uh, set up the speed, the wow and flutter we're happy with. So, I'm just going to risk a bit of a copyright match by just... Uh, So, right, so let's put this back in here, let's get this back here, rewind, and it back up, oops, and it helps if I plug the computer back in. fast mm, no, not too bad and again the wow and flutter is fairly consistent at 0 0.09 to 1.1 but the wow and flutter is good Uh, I will just stick a little bit of light oil in the motors and uh, let it play through a bit and then just double check it again and I reckon this one's done. Right, so as you can hopefully see, although looking at the camera I don't know if you can but um, we are basically running bang on, or as near as makes no difference, 3k so the speed is perfect. And the wow and flutter RMS is 0 0.8 to 0 0.12 percent on deck A. And deck B. We are shade over 3k by about 9 to 10 hertz. And again, the wow and flutter is exceptionally good at 0 0.08 to ooh, 0 0.07 there to 0 0.1 uh, with a peak of 0 0.12 to 0 0.17. So, uh, yeah. Other side. And just let it settle. Uh, and on the other side, we're about seven hertz slow with a wow and flutter of 0 0.8, 0 0.08 to 0.12 with a peak of about 0.2. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. So, just 
rewind the tape and uh, put this back together, give it a clean up and it's good to go. So there we go. That is the Pioneer Stereo Double Cassette Deck CT-W205R from 1996 fully serviced and good to go fantastic so as usual like share subscribe etc etc and uh, don't forget to check out my other channel uh, auto addicts this is obviously audio addicts and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da.